Wise up and pray. I am your host, Sister Vicky. I want to certainly welcome you to the Watch Out Podcast. I do believe that late in the midnight hour, God will certainly turn it around. If you are the host, press star now. Otherwise, please enter your pin followed by the Thank you. There are two participants in the conference. Please announce yourself. To mute, all participants are muted and they can unmute themselves. Hello, 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 hello. I want to thank each and every participant on tonight for calling Watch Out Podcast. I also want to thank each and every listener that will come across this audio over YouTube or any other social out social media outlet i want to thank you thank god for you i do believe that tonight we're going to have an awesome move of god tonight we're going to do something a little differently normally i was we would start off with a covering scripture but we're going to have no other than my sister and my co-host sister lena she's going to give us some awesome words of encouragement on tonight it's going to help god's people it's going to edify god's church and she's also going to start the night off with um a prayer a prayer on tonight amen but like i said um we all just need to rejoice and be happy on this night on this day because it's a brand new day amen it's a brand new day and um another day that the lord has made you know we are blessed to have breath in our bodies we are blessed to be here and i just thank god for a chance at life i just thank him amen because there's nobody like god there's nobody can do the things that he can do amen so it's no other time than now to lift our voices up and give god honor and give him praise give him what's due unto him amen our praise and our worship is due unto god because he's such an awesome god amen so with that being said we're going to um uh, wait for sister lena to get online she's going to do uh opening prayer amen and then we're going to go into worship please know that the lines are muted at this time amen because we want to make sure that god's word and, and we want to make sure that worship get out in the airways as clear as possible so um with that being said, amen. We going, we waiting on Sister Lena, amen. Praise God. Praise God. There she go. <laughs> I forgot the song was muted. Huh? Oh, you said you forgot it was muted. Yeah. I'm just talking until I heard you say so. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But, uh, yeah, so I, you know, I already know, introduced you and everything. Amen. Everybody knows Sister Lena. She's the, see, she's our, my co-host of Watch Out Podcast. And, um, she's going to give us some awesome words of encouragement on tonight. And she's going to start us off with a, with a covering prayer on tonight. And then we're going to move right on, move on to worship. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. My Bible. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Those of you that know that was up here last weekend, you know, last weekend I, I was tired and i i was frustrated i was i was hurting i was all of the above and um you know and i i, I literally when i got offline last weekend i literally had to ask god for strength to help me to carry on because i couldn't believe that you know <laughs> out of all little old me didn't have the incur no encouraging encourage me in me amen i i mean i was at a point i needed somebody to encourage me but god i thank god with his good self for showing up like he did using sister lena because god's will always going to be done regardless of you know how we feel and what we think 
God's will is above all mm-hmm. else. Amen. And God, what happened last Saturday is what God intended to happen. His will was done. Amen. We thank God for his will. We thank God for giving me strength. Amen. To carry on. Because it's not easy to get up. You know, it's not easy to be up here 12 o'clock midnight. That's warfare by itself. But it's definitely not easy to, you know, to, uh, um, you know, to, to encourage people all the time. You know, especially when you need encouragement. You know, it, it really takes you know it, it takes a lot it takes a lot out of you you know it, you know and and i but i thank god for restoring me because every every now and then people of god that encourage others have to be restored every now and then and god has definitely restored me and i thank god for it so with that being said sister lena you ready honey yeah I'm amen ready. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome Man. to this podcast. Praise God. Praise God. But the, but the person I welcome the most is Heavenly Father, Amen. Lord Jesus, and Holy Amen. Spirit. Amen. As, as I got to tell, to allow you to come and have your way, Amen. your holy righteous and divine way in this podcast. Thank you, God. Father, you told me. Father, you taught me that when two or three of us get together, that you were in agreement, that you would be in the midst of us. Thank you, Lord. And we all are, the ones that are on now and the ones that will hear it later, we are in agreement. Yes, Lord. Father, Lord Jesus, you also told us from your word that if there is any unforgiveness within us that should be dealt with before praying, so we release any bad feelings, any other wrong attitudes before you now and lay it at your feet. Lord, in Matthew 5, 44, you ask us to forgive others who has wronged us. So we release and forgive anyone who has wronged us yes. in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes. Father, forgive us for us. Um, um, I'm sorry, I, I'm going to say a prayer of repentance before we get started because we're going we're going to the throne room. We're going to meet Heavenly Father. So it's, it's, it's always a good idea to cleanse yourself, to yes. say you're sorry. Yes. To get there. You don't want him to tell you. you, to tell you. Amen. I'm going to try to make this short. I can stay within my time limit. Amen. Heavenly Father, to you now in the name of your son Jesus yes, confessing that we are a sinner yes, that we have sinned against you, yes, Lord. you for you to forgive us for all our sins we repent yes, for our sins repent. choose to follow and obey and accept your son Jesus Christ yes, Lord. Father forgive us for neglecting the upbuilding of and spreading of your gospel. Yes, Forgive us God. for the defilement of our bodies, the temples you dwell in. Amen. Forgive us Forgive for this use of our finances you've allowed us to make and save yes. that we not that we've not used for the upbuilding of your kingdom in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Psalms one thirty nine, verse twenty three and four. Search us, O oh God, and see if there's any thoughts or actions you need to root out of us, we confess, we renounce the Luciferian spirit, the stronghold, the captivity, Amen. the mountains. We renounce anything within us that's yes. not of you, that's not in your word. Yes. And we ask you, we give you permission, we give you legal right yes. to root it out, yes. to root it out in Jesus' name.
that was Nicole and David Dugan, Sasha Cobb Leonard. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to play a second song on tonight. Amen. Amen. Give it just a second. Amen. I'm telling you, that song right there touched my soul. Amen. I was just in worship. So Amen. Good. Adoring God. Amen. Coming into his throne with thanksgiving, Amen. with praise and worship on our hearts and in our hearts. Jesus.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Come and tear down the walls that I built. Amen. Tear down the walls that was built. Amen. Before my eyes, oh God. Oh my God. Thank you, Lord God. Because we want to be closer to you, Lord. We want to draw near to you, God. Tear down those walls, oh God, that's hindering us from getting close to you, God. Because we want to go further and further. We want to be close to you, oh God. Oh, Lord God. Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Search our hearts, God, and take out anything, God. Take out everything, God, and it's not like you, oh God. Thank you, Father God. That song was so anointed. Amen. On your devotional time with God, I would like to say, please listen to that song because it would get you into a worship mood. Amen. I'm telling you, if you really listen to the lyrics of that song, you know, the, the song is saying, tear, telling God to tear down the walls that I build. Tear down those walls. Anything that, that walls are anything that's hindering you for having a walk with Jesus Christ. Ask God to tear that wall down. Amen. Praise God. But tonight, amen, we're going to hear from our sister, Sister Lena, amen, our co-host of Watch Out Podcast, she got amazing words of encouragement on tonight, amen, and I am so excited because I don't know about you, huh, but I'm telling you, I had a long week, and it, when you have a long week like that, you ready to hear what God is saying to the church, amen, to your church, amen, the church that's within you, because you need to be fed, amen, and uh, I know God is going to do just that on this line on tonight. So I hope that each and everybody on this line and each and everybody that come across this audio, I hope you enjoy the worship on tonight. I really pray that you have listen your listening ears on tonight to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Amen. So you can apply it to your life. Amen. And so that you may be edified, so that you may draw closer to god in this hour amen so with that being said amen we're gonna go ahead well you know i gotta play my babies i gotta play my babies amen because we can't move forward unless we do that amen because my baby's got a message amen praise god on just a second y'all i just i'm just in awe with that song amen Oh my goodness, tear down the walls I build. Oh my goodness, tear down the walls I build. Amen. You know, depression is a wall that 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 is a is a stagnant wall that we build that that, that Satan builds in front of within us. Amen. It keeps us depression, anxiety, fear. All of those negative emotions would keep well, it's like a wall. It's like a wall that, that stands between us and between yourself and God. God want to tear that wall down. He want to tear that wall down because God want to draw closer to you. God wants you to draw closer to him. God wants to fellowship with you. So those walls, you know what your wall is, whatever is hindering you from for uh, going to God in prayer, whatever is hindering you from worshiping God, whatever is hindering you, God wants to tear that wall down. Let the Jericho walls come down in the mighty name of Jesus because God wants a deeper relationship with you. God wants to carry you over into a new dimension. God wants to pull you out of your old ways. But first, you have to allow him to tear down those walls. Amen. Take that stony heart out and give you a heart of flesh, a heart of love, so that you can genuinely seek him. Praise God. Tear down the walls I built. Amen. Thank you, God. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Woo, Lord have mercy. Woo. Amen. 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 Woo, I tell you. Amen. Praise God. Mm. Yes, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. 
For the Bible tells me so. Because the Bible tells me so. Because the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me because the Bible tells me so. Anytime you in doubt, anytime that you have a question about is Jesus, do Jesus truly love you? The only thing you have to do is turn in your Bible and the Bible will literally tell you that Jesus, yes, Jesus loves you. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Father God, we ask you, oh God, to take complete control of this hour, Lord God. God, we spend half of this hour in worship, but we know that it was your will, God. We pray, God, that your will will continue to be done on this night, Lord God. God, I pray that you cover Sister Lena, Lord God. Cover each and every participant that is online at this hour, Lord God. Lord God, may your will be established right now, Lord God. Lord, we cast down every distraction of the enemy, every plot, every plan, every scheme. Anything that he would try to do to hinder your word from going far, far into the atmosphere oh god we bind up the work of satan and his demons right now as we speak god we pray that your word will will go to whoever you intended it to go to god and may it edify them god may they apply it god with thanksgiving lord god we speak peace over each and every listener oh god and we speak we god we ask you to take out any confusion any doubt any anything that will hinder your people from receiving the word that you put in the atmosphere oh god and god we say have your way father god in the mighty name of jesus lord god we thank you father we thank you god we reverence your name god we give you praise and we give you honor lord god because it is you have chosen us oh god we didn't choose you you chose us father god and we thank you oh god in this hour lord god we say lord have your way like you never had it before in jesus mighty name we pray and we touch and agree and say amen 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 Lord, I thank you for everything that has been said and done thus far. Amen. I pray that it is indeed pleasing in your sight Amen. as I continue to deny myself to give your people what, what you gave me, Amen. a word. Praise God. I pray. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I, I am not, I am, I am unequipped, Amen. but you asked me to study you ask me to always accept to show myself approved Amen. Amen. in Jesus name, Jesus name. Thank you, God uh, by my help in OA I'm reading Psalm 71 Lord I seek refuge in you let me never be disgraced Amen. in your justice rescue and deliver me Thank you, listen closely can save me. Be my rock of refuge for me yes. Yes. where I can all things go. Give the command to save me you. for you are my rock and fortress. Yes. Deliver me yes. my God yes. from the powers of the wicked, yes. the Luciferian spirit, the stronghold, the captivity. Yes, Lord. From the traps of the unjust and oppressive. Amen. For you are my hope, Lord God. My confidence for my youth, Amen. I have leaned on you yes, for birth. You took me from my mother's womb. My praise is always, always about you. Amen. I am like a, I am like a, I am a confusion to many. Amen. And you are my strong Amen. My mouth is full of praise and honor to you all along. Don't discard. Uh, verse 9, don't discard me in my old age as my strength fails. Amen. Do not abandon me Amen. for my enemies. Me. The Luciferian spirit is hungry the captivity. Yes. Yes. Talk about and, and those who spy on me plot, plot yes. together. Yes, 
Lord. And God has a best for her, mm. chase her and catch her, for there is no one to rescue her. Mm. God, do not be far from me. My God, hurry to my help. Yes, May the adversary disgrace yes, and destroy. Mm. May those who intend to harm me be covered in their own mess and disgrace mm. and humiliation. Yes, Lord. But I will continually, I will praise you yes, more and more. Yes, God. will tell about your Christmas because mm. I know nothing else. And your salvation all day long. Mm. Though I cannot sum them up, I come because of the uh, because of the mighty act of the Lord God in my life. Yes, I have read the seventy first Psalm up to from one to sixteen in Jesus' name. I pray in your spare time that you be able to to read it for yourself and ask God because we're getting older. The things that we used to do, we can't continue to do it. We're not kids anymore. And you and you, you when you go to heaven and you're gonna go because everybody has to meet their Maker, Almighty God, Heavenly Father. You're gonna go, and you will not get away. You will not skate by with so and so made me do it or told me do it or the devil influenced you because he can't. You are an independent person. God made you that way. You have your you have a right to denounce, to renounce, to to avoid, to to skip past. You don't have to do anything that's mean, injustice, or anything like any, any evil towards anybody. You don't. You have a choice. He's given you a choice to choose him or evil. He knows a lot of you, a lot of you aren't saved. And even though I consider myself saved, I do a lot of things wrong. I get a lot of things wrong. But I stay in a state of repentance. Lord, forgive me. Forgive me for that thought. Forgive me for that action. Forgive me for for talking about so and so to so and so. Forgive me. You can't stay there because if you do, the things for you will get worse, will get much much worse, and you will continue to go around that bad cycle, that bad circle, until you get it right, until you pass that test with God. Jesus died on the cross for any and everything that you could ever think to do or have done. But he still says, I forgive you. Come on home. Come on back home like the prodigal son. Come to your senses and come back home. I'm waiting for you with open arms, unconditional heart, to embrace you and love, to show you the right way to do things. No matter what's happening in your life, you have no right to do something to, to be mean or evil, to, to put stumbling blocks and hindrances in somebody else's life. Amen. And God is, is going to be like watching TV. God is going to bring it to your remembrance. He's going to show you your own heart, why you did it, why you said it. Amen. You don't want to get to that point. You want to say, I'm sorry now. You don't want God. You don't want Jesus to bring you to your knees. Get down there on your own. It won't be so bad. But if you continue to walk like a child, he's going to treat you like one. He can't advance you. Things are not going to happen for you. You won't you, you won't get as much favor. He will always give you grace and mercy. But you, you will never be elevated because he can't use you. He can't use you in your mess. He wants to wash you off. He wants to tear down all the walls that you have built up. He didn't do it. He didn't, the, the devil didn't, the Lucifer and spirit didn't do it either. The devil didn't do it to you. You did it. Amen. He can only give you the thought. It's you that takes the action, and, and it's you that's going to be held accountable for it. I mean, God gives you good thoughts. If you took them thoughts, instead of instead of latching on to the bad thoughts, you would have it so it would be all right. Because the more you read God's word and do good things, the devil will flee from you. Amen. That's God's promise to you. And Jesus walked that out. He, he was in the desert for 40 days, 40 nights. He kept telling him, get behind me. 
So if he can, if he took a human form, God took a human form, a part of himself, so that we could see, so that we will know that we can do it. We can do it. We have to die to flesh. A, 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 a lot of things seem tempting and desirable, but we did those things that are used. It's time to grow up. It's time to stop drinking milk. I mean, it, 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 it's even time to stop eating cereal and soft food. Come on, get some steak, some hamburgers. It, it, it's not that hard. You put yourself where you can learn. If you can't do it on your own, that's what the Holy Spirit does. That's his job to help teach you. But they, but God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit can't do anything if you don't read that word, if you don't read your Bible, so you will know how to ask for it. He got millions, trillions, billions angels at your disposal. But if you don't ask for help, he don't know who to send or why. God knows everything. That's true. That's true. He knows everything. But he wants you to want him. Not just when you're sick. Not just because you lost your job. Not just because you've been rejected, disappointed, discouraged, manipulated, or controlled. He wants you to freely come to him. Come to him so that he can teach you more things. You'd be surprised. I love to learn. My my kids always tease me about I got more Bible stuff than the church do. I love to learn. I, I watch the DVDs. I, re, I read a, a, a million and one books, and I, and I continue to do stuff because I want to learn about my Heavenly Father. I want to learn about my brother Jesus. So I get these books that take me back to my Bible and give me a, a better understanding of them. Yeah. But you, yeah. he's knocking on your heart. So we are in the last and evil days. He's knocking on your heart. He's ready to shift you into something good, marvelous. <coughs> he, t- he tells us in his word that he has masses for us. He said he had to go away to prepare a place for us. He said he will send the comforter to us. So you're, you're not here by yourself. You're not alone, no matter what you think or feeling. You are not alone. I mean, if you just, if you just, cling to, to the good thing. It's not all bad. You know, you can still have a life. I'm, I love watching TV. I, I mostly watch PBS. I don't watch Lifetime like I used to because that, that's not good for me. So he really wants you to protect your mind, your ears, your eyes, and your mouth, and your heart. Amen. So that means that, you know, you, you're, you're, you're not in a in a prison. He's not he's not a, 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 a jailer and, and a guard and that kind of stuff. God, God went to a part of his... All participants are unmuted. Fine. I mean, he just he said, be modest. Don't do it all day long. Amen. If you have these habits, ask Holy Spirit to help you to let them go. During, during this podcast and other podcasts that we have done, we've said prayers for you to release alcohol, drugs, pills, um, um fornication, adultery, what, whatever the stronghold is, you do it long enough, it becomes a stronghold. You do it long enough, it be, you become captive. You're in captivity. And, it, and, and yeah. Lucifer, the devil has a lot, a lot, he has, well, has. He has a lot of little imps and, and, and demons at his disposal to say, go play with her mind, go play with his mind, do this and do that. But it's up to you. You know, but you still have free choices. Mm-hmm. Choose God. He's knocking at your heart. Mm-hmm. Choose God. Don't allow the devil to keep robbing you out of your inheritance. There's, it's a good life to be in, in the family of Jesus. It really is. You get to have fun. You get. You don't get to, I mean, this pandemic, losing your job, not having enough money or food. Stuff like that won't bother you. You won't be running around from church to church. You'll be satisfied with what you got. He teaches you that. He gives you a strategy to get things, to do things. He gives you strategy to start your own business. It, it didn't just come from you. It came from him. But you don't do anything with that creativity, with that knowledge that he gives you. So, I mean, and then... When you when you do call on God, it's because you, the doctor tells you you're so sick. 
it's because the, your boss told you, you we don't have any we we your job is closing down. Or, or your your kids are running around the mug. All your appliances is acting up. That's when you decide to get on your knees and call out to God. But that's wrong. You should call out to him anyway. Because he woke you up. You're in your right mind. You got clothes. You got a place to stay. And whether you like it or not, you have food to eat. Amen. You have people that you can talk to. If you stay within your own mind, you're going to go cuckoo. Because you, you want gear to do that. You have to share things. That's why he, when God gives you more than enough, he wants you to share it. If he sees you can't share the little bit that he gave you, he'll take that and give it to the one he gave a lot to. But, I mean, mm, choose God. Choose God. Choose Jesus. Choose you, Jesus. So your family can see and hear. So they will have something to stand on. Because you know our kids watch us. Our neighbors watch us. The people at church watch us. The people on the job watch us. So, you, I mean, you're surrounded by people that's listening to what you say and do. Amen. So, choose God, choose Jesus. It's not hard. Okay, Vicki, you want to jump in there? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. <laughs> Thank you, Lord God. I, I enjoyed that message. Amen. The main thing that stood out to me when Sister Lena was talking was, you know, we have to stay in repentance. Amen. We have to stay in repentance. You know, no matter what, you know, sin, you know, this fleshly body of us, of ours, you know, is, is prone to sin. Amen. And we're not no matter how saved you are you going to fall short we all falling short and it's not that we choose to fall short sometimes you know we do things and we sin and we don't intentionally want to sin we don't you know it didn't just happen amen and you know and some of them there's some people that do intentionally sin you know but when you i'm talking about children of god you know children of god we don't you know we shouldn't be planning on seeing it, you know, but sometimes it happens. And God noticed. That's why he put repentance in place. But we have to take, we have to take hold of repentance. And that's what stood out to me the most with what Sister Lena was saying. Because we have to, she said we have to stay in repentance. Many, you know, you got, don't, don't repent for this and then, you know, then you do something else and then you choose not to repent for that. Repent for all the wrong that you do. That's how we stay in right standing with God. When we constantly, consistently have, well, constantly have a repentant heart. Amen. And, and another thing that stood out to me when she says that, um, that we all have choices. We have choices. You know, basically have free will. You know, we have free will of, 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 of how we want to live our lives. Amen. Even God himself, he don't force himself on us. Amen. He don't force himself. You know, he's a gentle God. And he give us, and it's up to us to accept God. It's up to us to accept what God is offering us. Amen. And the thing about the devil, he will force himself on you. <laughs> the devil will automatically invade your life and you don't even have to invite him in. Amen. That's the type of devil that is out there you don't got to invite him in he's gonna invite his own self <laughs> to your life amen but god but god is gentle god is loving god is a god that that is a gentleman he, he's willing to wait on you he's willing to wait for you with open arms when you're ready he's he's right there with open arms ready to take you in but you have to, but the choice is yours. The choice is yours. And I, and I thank God for the message on tonight that Sister Lena had brought forward. Amen. I thank God for it because it, it, it you know, it, it edified me because, you know, we living in a day and time now where we up against a, a, a devil from hell. We up against a devil from hell. And I don't care how saved you are. The devil is always knocking at your at your heart. He's always knocking on your front door. He's always knocking, trying to see who he can devour. That's what he's always trying to do. But we have a choice. We have to make that choice that no matter what, 
situations come our ways no matter what the devil throw it is no matter what temptation is 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 enticing us whatever is going on we got to choose righteousness over sin we have to choose god over everything else and that's what god is seeking he's seeking after those that are after his heart he's seeking after those god is 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 is, is in a place now where his is is very urgent that he lets inform people that he informed people that jesus christ is on the way back he's using unlikely people praise god god is using unlikely people he using people that no one had you know wouldn't choose no one in church no leaders would choose to speak up on you know the the call the call up to speak he using people that has been in the background for so many years he using people that are that that that, that secretly that secretly go into a prayer closet to pray to guide to him to 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 call on him to to you know he he causing those people to come into the fourth friend to reverence his name to let people know hey the kingdom of heaven is at is, is at hand repent turn from your wicked way jesus is coming back for a church hello jesus is coming back no matter if you believe it or not jesus is on his way back he is causing god is causing people to his people that he is called by his name to hold up a caution sign saying Jesus is on the way back. Do you see? Hello? Are you listening? Hello? So please, when Jesus is knocking at your heart, open up your heart. Don't have a, don't continue to choose. Uh, Back to what Sister Lena said. Choices. Do not choose to have a stony heart. See, God is willing to take that stony heart out of you. God is willing to tear down that wall that you have built up so many years. God is willing to do it. But you have to invite the loving God in. You have to invite God in with open arms. Because God is not going to invade your space. He's not going to invade your life and you don't want him there. It's all about what you want. Amen. If you want God... Then tell God you want him. Tell God, oh God, I need a, a, a stronger relationship with you. I need a stronger walk with you. I'm tired of living the way that I'm living. I'm tired of thinking the things that I'm thinking. I want better for myself. God, I want to hear, well done, my faithful servant, come on in. I don't want to hear, depart from me. I never knew you. See, that's what some of you are choosing. You're choosing a life of sin. You're choosing a life of death. You are choosing Choosing a life that God didn't meet for you to have. But if you will turn from your wicked ways, if you will humble yourself, and you will ask God, if you will ask God with a willing heart, with a pure heart, and say, God, I need help. I need to know how to grow in you, Lord God. I don't know all the answers. I don't know what it's going to take. But God, I know that you was a true and living God. God, I know that you are able to turn my life around. God, I need you to turn my life around. God, I need you to take this stony heart out of me. Sometimes it's hard for me to love my neighbors. I backbite and I talk about people too much. I hate when I do it, Lord. I need help, God. I need help, God. I need help, God. God, I need help. Amen. And when you cry out to God and you tell God that you need help, you think that he won't come to your rescue? Yes, he will. Because you invited him. Amen. When you invite God, He, you give him legal right to move in your life. When you invite him in. One thing about the devil you don't have to, one thing about the devil, he's going to automatically, like I said before, he's going to automatically invade your space. You don't got to invite him. He just invite himself along. Amen. When Jesus, when God led, when the Holy Spirit led Jesus into the wilderness, amen. Je- the, the Holy Spirit didn't lead uh, the devil there. You know what? The devil automatically uh, showed up. But the Holy Spirit prepared Jesus because the Holy Spirit knew that the devil was going to show up regardless because that's how he do the devil's going to automatically show up in your life 
same pen. And Jesus did nothing to invite the devil in. But, the, I mean, invite the devil into his atmosphere. He just automatically showed up. And that's how he's going to do it. If Jesus, was temp- if Jesus was tempted and if the devil just showed up in Jesus' atmosphere, guess what? He's going to do the same for us. He's going to automatically show up. That's why all hell break loose in your life. It's not because God is not with you. It's because the devil done showed up. But you got to have some word in you when that devil show up. Well, you got to have some word in you. You got to have some strength. You got to be able to say, Lord, I need help. I need help to fight this devil from hell. I need help. I'm tired of going through what I'm going through. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of being down and depressed. I'm tired uh, of not having nobody to talk to. Not having nobody to run to when things get hard. God, I need a savior. I need a savior in my life. And that's what God is waiting to hear from you. Is I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. I'm seeking you, Lord. I'm tired of being living this life of sin because it's not getting you nowhere no way sin don't get you anywhere only way sin only thing that sin yeah it's gonna get you somewhere it's gonna get you to a burning hell but that's not god's will for your life i'm telling you it's is it, god is looking for people that's willing to open up their heart now it's gonna be a whole lot of people out here that don't care about god and, and don't have a desire to open up their heart and speak with God. Amen. Some people out here are saying God don't even exist. But God is not talking about them people. Amen. He's talking about the people that have a desire to seek him. Because those that, one thing about it, God will turn people into a rope of baited mind. Amen. If you choose to believe that God is not real and Jesus didn't die on the cross for your sin, then hey, you choose that life. Amen. God is not going to make you choose Jesus. You got it's your choice. Amen. But those of you that are hearing me by the sound of my voice right now and the sound of Sister Lena's voice right now, if you have a desire to seek God wholeheartedly do so at this time you ain't got to wait till Sunday morning come for you to go to church you ain't got to wait till you hear Bishop T.D. Jakes on on, on uh, um, YouTube you ain't got to wait for to hear your favorite pastor on YouTube you can do it right now God will meet you right now at right now where you at right now I don't you might be at work you might be at home you may be at the park I don't know where you at, but God knows. God will meet you right now. You don't have to wait. You can talk to him. You don't need nobody around you. It can, it's be, it's, it can be just between you and God. Talk to him. Tell him your, your, your deepest desires. Tell him what's hurting you so that God can pull down those walls. Amen. Thank you, God. I'm so excited and i'm so overwhelmed with the word that was brought forth on tonight it touched me it touched me amen and i thank god for it because amen when you when you are looking for a word of god when you looking for god to to move or you looking for a message from god god will give you that message when you looking for it amen amen and 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 that's the god that we serve you have to always be looking for a message from God. I tell people all the time, if you want to call this line just for fun, for play, play, it's not going to entertain you. I'm sorry, because we don't be up here trying to play no games with nobody. We, we, we speak facts and we speak real life on this line. And we allow the Holy Spirit to have his way. We don't got time for the nonsense. This is not what watch, this is not what Watch Out Podcast stands for. We are here to tell you to watch out for the devil. Watch out because he's a thief. He come. The devil it come only to steal, kill, and destroy. Watch out. We're here to tell you to watch out. Watch out and get your life in order. Jesus Christ, watch out because Jesus Christ is coming back. He's coming back for a church. And I'm And I hate to tell you, he's not coming back for a church building that you go to every Sunday or Wednesday for Bible study. No, he's coming back for the church that's in you. What is your 
church is your church right? Is your church in order? Is your church in in alignment with what God word is and what God stands for? Is your church is holy or is your church lukewarm? You gotta get it together. You got to get it together because Jesus is coming back like a thief in the night. Jesus, no man know the hour when he is coming back. And when he coming back, he's coming back for his church. And if your church ain't right and it's lukewarm, God is going to spit you out of his mouth. We are here. Watch out podcast is here to warn people that have a heart for God to please come out of way in. Don't come, don't have your foot one foot in and the other foot out there in the world. Bring both of your foot into alignment of what God wants. Because I'm telling you, you do not want to hear the part from me, I never knew you. You don't want to hear that. You want to hear come on in my faithful servant. Well done. You endured to the end. You did that. You did a good job. You did what I asked you to. I'm going to sh- God's going to sit down. He's going to show you the plans that he had for you and it's going to be completed. It's going to be completed. Nothing left out. God is looking for somebody that's going to complete his will no matter how hard it is. No matter how, how many people talk about them and criticize them. No matter how many people, how many friends they lose. No matter how many family members walk away from them. No matter how many church members count them out. God is looking for some people. Hey Amen. Praise God that is willing to say, God, I'm going to do your will no matter what. God, I'm going to keep going no matter what. Yes, I got. Yes, I get weary, God, but I know you're going to give me the strength. Yes, God, sometimes I get tired, but you're going to lift my head high because you is the head. You is the lifter of, of my head. God, you're going to sustain my feet. Oh, my. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, have mercy. God has a his ur is is very urgent. Amen. It's very urgent. It's an urgency out here that God is trying to get through to his people. It's, not, it's time out to be playing games. Stop trying to play games with, with your life. Because at the end of the day, you're gonna suffer. Not the people that you're trying to impress. It's going to be you that suffer. Because you the one chose to go to a burning hell. You the one chose to take this life as a joke. You the one that was laughing when you should have been pl- when you should have been pressing in and 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 and, and having a, a desire to do God's will, but instead you out here playing around with in sin. That's this is the type of stuff right here that's going to make people go to a burning hell, and the choice is yours. Hey, me, I don't care how many people laughed at me. You know, people laughed at me when I said that I was going to start Watch Out Podcast. People laughed at me. People threw stones at me. People said, how in the world you going to, they, they didn't see what I saw. Because the vision won't for them, for them to see no way. They didn't see what I saw. And at the end of the day, people are still talking about me. People are still throwing stones at me. People don't even think that I'm worthy. But you know what? Jesus said that I was worthy. Because when he died on the cross for my sin, he said, Vicky, you are worthy. You are worthy to go out there and witness the gospel. You are worthy to go out there and pray for others. You are worthy. Amen. That's how you got to look at yourself. You got to get some self-confidence. You got to say, look, no matter what I got to go through, Jesus endured. Jesus endured, so I'm going to endure. Amen. I don't care what people say. I don't care what people do. I'm not a people pleaser. At the end of the day, if, if you a people pleaser, the gospel, of, uh, 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 witnessing the gospel ain't for you. Because sometimes God going to have you going to some people and saying some things and, and, and they're not going to like you. And they, God will have you on a platform saying some things and people going to hate you. That's just how it goes. But at the end of the day, God is looking for some people to say, no matter what, I'm going to keep right on going. No matter what, I'm going to keep right on running this race. No matter what people say, let them talk. Let them do whatever they want to do. Let them throw stone. Let them get their little spell book. Let them do whatever they want to do. But you cannot stop a true child of God. Because God is going to sustain what he has called. Amen. And that's what you need to know on tonight. God is going to sustain who he has called. So back to Sister Lena's word. Stay in repentance. Stay in repentance and know. That God is for you. If God is for you, who can be against you? 
Nobody. God is not going to allow his people to fall. When you stay in repentance and you stay in right standing with God, God will have a hedge of protection around you. God will cover you. God will shield you. God will take you higher. If you're not going higher in God, that means that you're not where God needs you to be. If you're not going higher, if you're not going up them steps, that means something is off. Something is off and it ain't God. It's something in your life is off. And you got to get yourself together. Amen. You got to get yourself on one accord with God. And I'm telling you. Because if you if you going down, uh, and another thing, if you going down, that means you still in sin. That means you living lukewarm and you in sin and you need to turn from your wicked ways. If you going up, that means you right where God needs you to be. That means you on the right path. That means you 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 on the path that God is calling you to. And you're supposed to go higher. Every child of God is supposed to be going higher. If you at a standstill, that means that God needs you, needing you to do something and you're not listening. Because you're going, it's nothing but, you can't do nothing but go up. You can't do nothing but go up. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Sister Amen. Lena, I thank you for humbling yourself. And, uh, and giving us those words of encouragement. And I pray that these words of encouragement will bless the people that God intended for it to bless. Amen. And I thank God for using you. And it's not easy. You know, it's not easy. This walk isn't easy. But you know what? God, God is a, is a, is a God of grace and mercy. And he gives us strength when we feel like we don't have it. He gives us strength. And I thank God for the Holy Spirit for moving through his servants and, and speaking and, and telling people what does say the Lord. Amen. Because anytime you're talking about the things of God, they don't come from the flesh. That comes from the spirit only. Amen. And I thank God for what has been brought forward on tonight. Praise God. Praise God. Um... Uh, um, so, um, oh, Sister Lena, you got, uh, uh, oh, I want to say, um, tonight we got a praise report. I got to say this, amen. We, we've been praying, amen, we've been praying for Brother Anthony. Um, he has, he's currently diagnosed with cancer. And the reason why I say we got a praise report, amen, is because, we I, uh, we checked up on him at the nursing facility, and the nurse was saying that he is doing awesome. They said he's moving around like he ain't got no cancer. He's doing better than the ones in there that ain't got cancer. And I said, God, woo, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Woo, who said that God ain't able? Who said that God ain't a healer? Who said it? Amen. Woo, that's Come on, somebody. I wish I had some praise break music tonight or something. <laughs> I tell you, they said he is, he is doing everything as if he ain't got no cancer in his body. See, one thing about it, them, them tests might say one thing, and them doctors may say one thing, but when God speak up, amen, God's report is the report we need to live by. Amen. He, I, I remember when I talked to a brother Anthony, he was telling me, he said, I'm not, you know, when he was got his diagnosis and everything, he was like, you know, I don't want nobody, I don't want no pity party. You know, I don't want nobody to feel sad for me because he said, I'm going to do what God called me to do on this earth. I'm going to be who God called me to be. He, he had a determination to stay in there no matter what, the, what, what diagnosis he had. See, sometimes God, sometimes, you know, God has his ways of doing things. Sometimes God, that's why God said in his word, his ways is not, is not our ways. Uh, his ways is not, our ways is not his ways. You get what I'm saying? God's ways is, is, is so much bigger than what we could ever imagine. Sometimes you, God will have it so, he, he will allow you to be diagnosed with something. But yet, he'll have it so you won't even feel it. It won't even affect you. You can have cancer in your body, but you're still rocking around here, and you can still be your joyful self as if you never had, like you don't even have it. 
Amen. That's the kind of God that we serve. Amen. We is a God that will take away symptoms. Amen. He don't just take away uh, uh, sicknesses and diseases. He'll take away your symptoms too. Amen. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. He got uh, uh, um, Brother Anthony. Brother Anthony got the last stage of cancer. They said his cancer, there won't nothing else they can do. Uh, uh, concerning his cancer, and they said that the cancer was a uh, was going up in his body, so it was it was going from his uh, prostate up, like upward, like um, because basically they were trying to say when it go is is um uh, uh uh those of you that's familiar with prostate cancer know it's a fast moving cancer, and they said that once it gets to your brain, amen, that it causes you know it can cause you to lose your memory, it can cause you know all types of stuff. You know, basically cause basically brain death after the end, you know, once it gets so bad. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, long as he been long as he was diagnosed, by now an average person would have already been pronounced dead. But I thank God, woo, that God is keeping him. Hallelujah. Praise God. Woo. Thank you, Lord God. Mm-mm-mm. Woo, Lord, I tell you, I thank you. I, I I just thank God. I just thank God. He's such a miracle worker. Woo, I thank you, Lord God. I thank you, Father God. Mm. Awesome, awesome. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, last stage of cancer, and you still walking around? You still making your bed up? You still taking your own bath? You still, you don't need nobody to help you up? Come on, somebody. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That ain't nothing but God. That ain't nothing but God. Amen. That's a testimony in itself. When uh, that, that lets you know right there. That it does not matter. Amen. So so is a man. I'm going to say this. So is a man think. Thank you. So is he. If you think sick, you're, you're going to go down as if you a sick person. But you got to start thinking and meditating on the things of God. See, that's what Brother Anthony is doing. He's not sitting around saying, oh, I, I got cancer. I'm going to die. If he have a mindset like that, he, that's exactly what's going to happen. Because God said, whatever we think. Amen. You got to change your process, your thinking process. You got to start thinking. Don't keep walking around to my, I'm broke. I ain't going to never have no money. You need to start saying, well, I might not got a million dollars in my pocket, but I got me some money. I'm rich. Amen. I'm rich. Amen. I can get whatever I want. Amen. Start speaking different about your situation. Come on. You, you got to stop speaking doubt and fear and, and frustration over your life. Come on. I, I, sometimes I be around people and I hear them talk down on themselves and I be like, I just shake my head because I'm like, you know, stop saying that you broke. I'm always broke. I hear people say I'm always broke. I, I, I always stay broke. That's why they always stay broke because they say it and they think that in their mind. You got to stop thinking it. That's why some people are overly sick because they always talking about, oh, uh, they all were talking about, I, I, I'm, I'm sick. I'm so sick today. I, I did so I did. I mean, come on. You got to get up and, 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 and be the child that you, the child of God that, that God called you to be. He called you to be strong. He calls you to have strength in the midst of chaos, in the midst of situation. You got to be strong. Stop saying you broke all the time. You might not have a million bucks in your pocket. Neither do I. But you cannot keep right out saying, oh, I'm going to always be broke. Yeah, you're going to always be broke. You know why? Not because God's not going to bless you. It's because you're not ready to receive the blessing because you got a broke mindset. You got to change it. Amen. Woo. Lord Jesus. Amen. I tell you, Lord. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Foul words. You have to change your mindset. You can't. That's what the Word of God will help you do if you read it. Praise God. I mean, they have some books to help you cheat. They have the scriptures in it for you, Mm -hmm. and and the cause of it. You can't accept the doctor report. God, God helped the doctors. He mm. gave give them the knowledge of, of the sense to do what they got to do to your body. Amen. He opened the door. You can't depend on the government. You can't depend on the job. You have to depend on God. Praise you God. can't. You can't. 
You, you right. get depressed and fearful and anxious, but you cannot stay there. You have to come on out of there. You can't stay there. Amen. You can't let them pack bags and move in with you. You Amen. got to encourage yourself. Make Amen. yourself happy. Because when you talk to the next person, they're probably in a worse boat than you are. Lord but you got to call those things that are not. You know, God said he got a mansion for me. I'm not going to live down here in poverty. Right. My latter days will be better than my, than my, my, my younger days. That because right. he said so. I believe I'm, I'm, I'm silly enough to believe it. I got evidence. Amen. So he, I, I've been, he healed me. I've been on his job, and I, I've, I've gotten sick. And, and Lord, I, I just had to talk to him. Lord, you told me that I can't work, that I don't need to, I can't get paid. You told me by your strength I was healed. Amen. I need you to take this pain to me. Because I got to be functional. Amen. I got to cook. I got to sleep now. I can't lay around here all doped up, sleep and stuff like that. Because ain't nobody looking. God sees me. So Jesus said, well, you have to come to me. Oh, amen. Amen. I'm sorry, that was that was our, our Lord plot to move forward, amen. Praise God. Amen. I'm my, 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 mom got 115, so I'm, I'm about done. I'm done. Let's pray for the sick. Let's pray for other amen. people that's yes. sick. Yes. Let's work on, work on them. Praise God. Praise God. Father God, we thank you. On tonight, Lord God, we thank you for everything that has been brought forward, Lord God. We thank you for using Sister Lena on tonight to give an awesome word of encouragement. I thank you for using myself, Lord God. I thank you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that your will has been established on tonight, God. I pray that everything that has been said, God, was of your leading, God. And I pray that we said all that you intended for us to say in this hour, Lord God. And God, I said thank you, God, for shielding and covering each and every sick person right now, Lord God. God, I pray right now, God, that you change their mindset, God. Because you did say, God, in your word, that so is a man thinking, so is he, God. We have to start thinking with, with, with a mind of, of, of joy. We have to start thinking healed. We have to start thinking delivered. We have to start thinking, oh, God. And we have to start thinking in a way that is pleasing to you, oh, God. Because that's, that's, that goes with having faith, oh, God. And, God, we're praying that people will have more faith, God, to believe, God, that you will restore them. To believe, God, that you will supply their every need. God, we know that you are God that will heal, deliver, and set the captives free, oh, God. There are people out there that are unsaved, God. God, we're praying for all the unsaved people, oh, God. We pray for the people in our families and those that's out there in the world. And we pray for the families of those that are listening right now, God. God, you know who it is. You know what, it, what the hindrance are, God. You know what wall is being put up, God. And God, we're praying that the Jericho walls come down, Lord God. We pray, God, that people will make a choice to, to serve you, make a choice to worship you, worship you, make a choice to pray yeah. you in the midst of chaos, in the midst of trials and tribulations, that they will depend upon your word and your promises and not depend upon what they see and not depend upon their fellow brothers and sisters. Because we cannot depend on men. We have to depend on you for everything because we have to look up what comes out of you. Our help comes from you, Lord God. God, you is the lifter of our head. You is a restorer. You is a miracle waker. maker. You make ways out of no way. There's nobody that can do the things you do, oh God. When man say no, you can cause, you can turn a no into a yes, oh God. And God, if it's not your will, you can turn a, a yes into a no. And God, we depend upon you. We depend upon you for everything in our lives, oh God. God, any aches and pains, we give it to you, oh God. We glorify you, oh God. God, we put our life in your hands, oh God. God, give us a stronger walk with you, Lord God. Those that are listening by the sound of our voice, my voice right now, oh God. God, may they have a deeper understanding of your word. May they walk with you, God, like never before, oh God. May they have a, 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 a urgency to do your will, Lord God. Because we know that time is winding down. 
We know that Jesus is coming back. Yes. No man knows the hour. And God, we all want to be ready when Jesus comes. We all want to be ready to go to be with him. We don't want to hear the part from me, I never knew you. you we want to hear, come on in, my faithful servant. Come on in, my faithful servant. Lord God, help us, oh God, to have a willing heart. Help us, oh God, to call on you when we're going through things. Help us, oh God, to, to reverence your name to people that are not saved, oh God. Take the fear out of us, oh God. The fear of what man might say. The fear of what man might do. Oh God, take that fear away right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Because you did not give us the spirit of fear. You gave us power, love, and a sound mind. A sound mind to do your will. A sound mind to speak boldly. To speak up and to speak out. And declare the works of the Lord. You have called us, oh God. And this time is these, oh God. This is war fair time, oh God. Give us the strength to raise war against the enemy. Give us the strength, oh God, to cast down every demon. Give us the strength, oh God, to, to speak, to speak victory over our lives, over our family lives, oh God. Oh God, may your will be done, God. May your will be established. May your will go forward, oh God. Not man will, not the devil's will, not our individual will, but your will, God. Let your will be done. Let your will be established. Let your will take effect right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every stronghold that is on our minds that is trying to cause us to, to live in doubt. Try to cause us to live in confusion. I cast that, that thought down right now in the mighty name of Jesus. God, give us a sound mind right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Give us a sound mind, oh God. A sound, a stable mind, oh God. A stable mind. When we read your word, it will stay stuck in our minds, oh God. A stable mind, oh God. It will not leave our, our conscious mind. It won't leave our brain. Let it stay stuck there, God. Let it stay stuck, God, so we can meditate on it day and night. Night and day. God, give us a stable mind. Give us a stable mind, Father God. Give us a stable Amen. mind, oh God, so that we can put you above all in our lives, oh God. We're going to put you above money. We're going to put you above people. We're going to put you above uh, places. We're going to put you above all those things, God, because you are worthy. You is worthy, oh God, to be praised. You are worthy, oh God. You are worthy, Father God. God, help us, oh God, to love our neighbors. Help us, help, give us the strength, God, to pray for those that despitefully uses us. Help us, God, to pray for our enemies. Because it's hard, Lord God. It's not easy, God. And you never said it would be easy. But you said you would give us the strength. You said that you would give us the strength, God. And give us just that, God. Because we can't live this life without your strength, God. We can't live this life, oh God, without your, you leading and guiding us, oh God. God, don't take your spirit away from us, oh God. May your spirit increase in us, oh God. May your spirit grow in us, oh God. May your spirit keep us on this path of righteousness, oh God. Don't take this cup away from us, oh God. Don't take this cup away from us, oh God. Let us continue to drink the cup of righteousness, oh God. God, so that we may be pleasing in your sight. In the name of Jesus. Through sickness. Through sickness. Through, through financial uh, uh, distress, no matter what we up against, God, we will serve you. We will worship you. We will give you the glory. We will give you the honor. When people write us out, we will give you the glory. We will give you the honor. We will give you the praise because you is above. You is above all, all negative situations. You is above all problems. You are above all trials and tribulations. You are above all of all those negative things that people, places, and, 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 and people, so people, and places, and things will try to embed, embed in us. Oh God, you is worthy, Lord God, and God help us, Oh God, give us, a, give us the strength to keep going, Lord. Give us the strength to keep going, Lord. We want to give up and give in. Give us the strength, Lord God. Help us, Oh God. 
to be the children that you promised to be. Because we need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. Keep pouring out your spirit. Keep pouring out your spirit, God. On on, on, on your sons and daughters, oh God. Keep pouring them out, God. Keep pouring your spirit out, Lord God. Because we cannot do nothing without the Holy Spirit. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, Amen. for your visitation on tonight. I thank you, Holy Spirit, Amen. for showing up and, and speaking through yes. us, oh God, what you need God people to see and what you need God people to know. God, Holy Spirit, we thank you. We thank you, Holy Spirit. And Lord God, Lord God, we we we, we want to say that we that 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 we honor your name. We honor your name. We give you glory. We give you praise. Yes. We adore you, God. We adore you, God. Because there's nobody yes. like you, God. There's nobody can do the things that you do, God. Mm. There is nobody that can heal the sick and raise the dead. There is nobody mm-hmm. that can restore health, oh God, unto us. There is nobody that can forgive sins and keep us from a burning hell. There is nobody mm-hmm. but you, oh Father. Oh Father God, we worship you this third watch. We worship you. We say, God, have your way. Have your way through the week, oh God. Uh, through the whole weekend and have your way through the weekday, oh God. And till we meet again, oh, till we meet to up to our brothers and sisters meet again and fellowship again, God. Be with us, oh God. Lead us and guide us, God. Keep our feet from evil. Keep our tongue from evil. May we speak only what is pleasing to you, Lord God. And may we be the light in somebody's life. May we be the light in somebody's life, Lord God. And I thank you for it right now, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Answer this prayer. You do go ahead right now at this time. Praise God. Praise God. We do the same. We do the same. We do the same. We do the sick people, the people at the hospital, the people at the nurses, the people that call, the people that call, the people that call, the people that call, Father. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Heal them from their from their distresses. Heal them from their discomfort. Yes, God. Whatever whatever they do from heal your people. Amen. So we can come together in unity. Praise God. Allow them to understand the solutions. Allow them to understand forgiveness. Allow them to understand the importance of walking in love. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord God. And may it be done in Jesus' name. Um, thank you, Lord. Um, we're gonna move on to announcements right quick. Um I wanna say please subscribe to Watch Out Podcast right now. If you listen to me right now, hit that subscribe button on Watch Out Podcast. Follow Watch Out Podcast on on um Instagram on um on twitter and also on um facebook uh public page on facebook on watch out podcast i thank god because we got 400 some followers on uh watch out podcast um facebook public page amen i thank god for that um leave your prayer request at one two five two three eight two five seven five one and um, everyone that calls outside of USA, you can also call that number on West Out. Amen. Just text your prayer request or you can leave a voicemail, whatever suits you. Um, and also, any topic that interests you and you would like for us to discuss it here on the Watch Out Podcast. That means anything that concerns you, any topic that 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 may that you might be interested in that you want us to talk about from a Christian standpoint, please leave your your uh, request. You have to email that now. Leave your request on yes I am free twenty twenty at gmail dot com. Leave your you know your name and just or or you can just leave your topic and, and let us know why you want us to talk about that topic. Amen. And why it interests you. <coughs> and um, with that being said, that's all the announcements. That we have right at this moment. Um, we do. We we're gonna start um, a book reading, but we we me and Sister Lena gonna get together on that so we can have a clear understanding of how we're gonna 
how we gonna do that i mean because we don't want any confusions or anything like that to take to take place so we're going to get back with you with the book reading that we're going to be doing um uh um uh, that's gonna take place um so i will get back with you on that so uh if there's anybody online tonight that got any announcements please say so at this time announcements amen if not amen we're gonna do closing remarks i'm gonna start first i just pretty much just want to say thank each and every participant that joined the line on tonight thank each and every listener that's going to come across this audio over youtube please you know if you don't do anything else uh please tell somebody about jesus amen tell somebody about jesus so that your friends and your family your co-workers or strangers on the streets can be saved and come to the knowledge of christ because we live in the last and evil days and the devil is trying to take the devil is trying to cloud people's minds so they cannot so they won't be able to you know uh, uh hear god's word effectively and some you may not people this might be some people out there that may not ever go to a church building ever in their lives and then and you might be the only church that they know or they see you know and so if you if you're the only light that god had put in that person life please be just that a light show them you know uh, uh the the way show them that that jesus is real you know be a te- let your life be a testimony for the lord amen amen so do just that, you know. That's my closing remarks for tonight. What about you, Sister Lynn? You got any closing remarks? Um, I thank God. I thank I thank Holy Spirit for his visitation. I thank him for downloading into me whatever it was that he wanted to convey to say to his people that's going to come across this podcast. I thank you for the opportunity to... Um, to teach, preach to his people, to minister to his people. He, it, it does not take a stupid to minister. That's right. God asks all of us to be disciples That's of each right. other. That's you right. know, it, it, it's in his word. There's no special people. The ones that feel guilty, unworthy, mm-hmm. depressed, or sick, sad, or sorry. Those Amen. are the ones that Jesus is coming back for. That's right. He has no need to come back to a Christian that thinks. They got it all together. Mm-hmm. He's coming back for the for the lowly, the ones that really don't think they matter. Mm-hmm. It's you that he's coming back for. Mm-hmm. So we're encouraging you to read your word, to prepare a way, to prepare your heart, so you will be ready when he does knock on your heart. Mm-hmm. And I'm confident that he's already started. He has already started shifting, mm-hmm. shifting some things, some people mm-hmm. that some people that look down on you, they're going to be the very ones that need you to help them. Amen. So be ready. Read so you can be ready. Walk in love. Walk in repentance first. Walk in forgiveness. Because people going to get on your last nerve, but you can't stay there. You can't stay there. Amen. So let it go and let it die and, and do what he asked you to do. Amen. 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 I want to be ready when Jesus comes. Amen. I want to be ready Amen. when Jesus comes. Amen. 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 Well, that was some awesome closing remarks, Sister Lena. And I just want to say thank you for allowing God to use you on tonight. Thank you for humbling yourself. And I, I, I thank you for, um, you know, changing the routine up. Amen. Thank you. And, uh, <laughs> Thank you so much, and uh, you know I love Sister Lena. You know sometimes we may say some things to each other sometimes, and it'd be like what? But at the end of the day, we come back in love, and and uh, that's 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 just a relationship. Fellowship is a give and take. Amen. You have to give the love, you know, and you have to be willing to receive love. So, you know, I just thank God, you know, for Sister Lena's life. I never thought when I first met her that we would be end up doing something like this. But that's, that just shows to tell you that, that shows you that God, you know, plans is not our plan. I never assumed that I would even start a podcast or even you know i always was the type of person that was in the background i never wanted to be in the forefront and uh even though people try to push me in the forefront over years over the years i just always been like uh-uh no that's not me i never 
imagine that I would be where I'm at today. And I know when it ain't nothing but the grace of God and, and his will. It, it, this has to be the will of God because me personally, I would never think about doing something like this. But I just thank God for shaping me and molding me so that I can have the strength to go out here and encourage God's people. I've been on this battlefield for a long time. You know, I can say, literally, I can say this now that I'm not a babe in Christ. I I had to learn, you know, I had to, I had some, some errors, you know, in my life, you know, I, I, I and I had to learn from them. And, but, but one thing about it, I stay humble. I was always willing and ready to learn and, and to see and to grow. And, and, and when you, when you at a standpoint like that, God can use you. God can, can increase you. When you, when you have a mindset, when you think you got it all together and nobody can't tell you nothing, God can't use nobody like that because that means pride done, done snuck in there. When pride get in there, can't nobody, can't nobody do nothing with you. Hey, me. And, um, so I just say, I just thank God for the, for the, uh, the path that he had put me on and, and, and he allowed, you know, me to get to this point in my life where I'm, a, I'm strong enough to encourage other people in the Lord. And I get joy from this. This is, this is, this is, this edifies me. Like, I get joy from doing this. is not a burden on me. It's not, it's not a, 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 a you know, it's not a heavy weight. Like, I, I look forward to encouraging people. And I, I'm telling you. And because uh, I, I, I know how important it is for to for people to hear the gospel. And I said, Lord, I, I try to come to people as real as I can be. You know, I tell people all the time, I'm not no holier than thou. You know, I make mistakes, even myself. But I have to you, but I use repentance. And I and that's what you have to do. Amen. And um, God is not looking for people that like to sto- throw stones at people. And, and, and always saying... You know, and always trying to make it seem like everybody else sin, but them, everybody sin, everybody falls short. Even if it's a saved person, we sin because our our flesh is prone to it. You know, but one thing about it, even though we sin and we fall short, we have to repent, like Sister Lena said. We got to repent and we have to turn from our wicked ways. Amen. So with that being said, it's already going on past past our little limit, but. We want to say, each and everybody, thank you for listening. Thank you for being a part of Watch Out Podcast. Thank you for, you know, supporting Watch Out Podcast with your encouragement, with your testimony, with your prayer requests. And um, those of you that may have gave financially, thank you. And uh, we we don't take it for granted. We don't take it lightly. And um, we, we praying. That, that, that we, we constantly pray that God will continue to bless your family, bless all the listeners and their family. And we pray that God will bring in more disciples that, that have a boldness to speak up and to speak out and use the gift that God has placed into them. Amen. Because this is a platform where we don't turn anyone down. We just ask that people abide by the word of God and to... We and, and to do things in decency and in order, because when you out of order, we as hosts have to have to make that known to get you back in alignment with what God wants. Amen. But other than that, we don't try to we we encourage people to speak up and to speak out, to tell your testimony, to to give your words of encouragement, to sing your song. We don't we don't tell nobody that you can't do that. Amen. Long you doing things in decency and order, you are welcome. Amen. In the name of Jesus, with that being said, we're going to say have a wonderful night. And we'll be back here again, guys willing. We'll be back here again on March the 20th, 12 o'clock midnight. <clears throat> and those of you that come across this video, on, uh, come across this audio on YouTube, uh, please join us, please, for on March the uh, 20th. Uh, we're going to come back. I'm sorry. Yeah, March the 20th. And we'll be coming back here for another word of encouragement. Amen. Amen. In Jesus, name. In Jesus' name. So with that being said, I love you. And ain't nothing you can do about it. Amen. Y'all have a good night. Good night. Amen. Good night.